you guys subject me to a parody class? <laughs> When Laura White enters a classroom, her students take notice. Are you willing to take a, take a shot at it? Mitch, okay. Hi there, how he rung upon the rain of a wimpling wing. In and so I've sort of taken to coming in and saying, it's Browning Day, or it's Tennyson Day, and, and they're supposed to go, woo, 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 you know, and, and well, well, not exactly that, but they're supposed to understand that this is in fact a really big occasion. Browning Day, why that should stir the heart, so. White's enthusiasm is reflected every semester in student evaluations. Rhyme, right, are also key elements of his poetics. There's always something special about Laura's student evaluations. The level of enthusiasm, infectious enthusiasm, and students would say, you know, I couldn't wait to get to class. Um, I had trouble taking lecture notes because I didn't want to stop listening. To, you know, her lectures are so fascinating, and she's funny, but uh, also rigorous. Somehow, in that act, in that one glorious moment of the hall. And Dr. White is, I mean, she's obviously passionate about what she's doing, um, and I think that's what makes it really easy for her to, to engage students. White finds unique ways to make literature relevant. For example, the Haitian earthquake sparked a discussion of an early 18th century quake that made Voltaire doubt his Christian faith. She also gives students the tools they need to read a novel or a sonnet. These are sonnets that seem to take up a lot more room than sonnets ought to, however. It's not just any old random set of words. The marks of literary intelligence and literary imagination are wonderful to discern even in the very most minute specifics of how literature works as well. I think she takes intimidating subject material and makes it more accessible without compromising what you're learning. In addition to teaching, White helped create the Interdisciplinary 19th Century Studies program for graduate students. There's really nothing in English literature that isn't in many important ways a product of culture, history, science, philosophy, religion, battles, you know, technology. You guys did well on White started her college career in music with dreams of being an opera star, but she found a home in the English department. And that's the advice I'd give to students. Uh, if you want to find your vocation, find an arena of work where doing it seems almost pleasurable to you. Um, and reading books and talking about life, I mean, I, I do it for free. Don't tell Harvey that either, okay? so.